kids, have you heard? Sunday School is returning to Fargo Baptist Church. It's back. So join us here on Sundays. Welcome back to Sunday School. Hi, and welcome back to this week's Kids Zone. We'll be going continuing in Proverbs chapter 2, verse 18 through 22 to finish off Proverbs chapter 22 with the decisions you make will have consequences.
everybody, my name is Fotinos Koyanitis and we'll be continuing in Proverbs 2. We'll be talking from, uh, reading from verse 18 all the way to verse 22. Let's, let's pray first and then we'll get into the Word. Thank you Jesus for this day, for giving me the wisdom and guidance that you promised us all to be able to give to these kids and people what you have given me so that they can learn and grow just as I do when I read your Bible. In Jesus' name, amen. For her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life. That thou mayest walk in the way of good men, and keep the path of righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressor shall be rooted out when we were talking about which friends do you have and taking notice about them and we see here that when we follow them that we will perish we see in verse 19 talking about those who follow sin are going to be led to death this is what will happen when we don't follow god but we see in verse 20 that we there is hope and that god offers us comfort the book of proverbs gives us little daily guides through life that this, as we see, this can be the whole book of Proverbs from uh, Solomon giving these Proverbs to his son so that he can live a better life and have guidance in it. Because as we know, the Bible is God's word to us to help us through life. As see in Proverbs 22, verse 6, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. This isn't exactly a promise that when we teach our children or we're being taught that we will stay, but when you teach the thing of God, the things that God wants us to learn, He will honor that. As we see as well, Paul talking to the Corinthians in 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13 and 14. Watch ye, stand fast in faith, quit you like men, be strong, let all your things be done with charity, when we follow Jesus, we will be happy. When we serve Him and give Him glory, we will be happy. Joy is found in the Lord. And when we read His Bible, we're learning about the Lord. And when we pray, we're talking to Him. As we see now in verse 21, we, these past few previous verses, verse 18 and 20, 18 19, that sin is accompanied by death. But there is some hope that we have, and there's a promise, as we see in verse 21. Here we see that God is going to reward us, but let's not forget, this wasn't originally given to all people. This was mostly given to the Jews, and we are Gentiles. Gentiles are people that aren't Jewish. And this next part, verse 21, was mostly focused towards Israelites in the Promised Land. And this, and this is very important to them because we see Abraham, God giving a promise to Abraham as well as David, King David later. And we see in 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 16, And thine house and thine kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. And to Abraham he promised his seed will be multiple and they'll be as the stars in the sky. So this verse is mostly talking to Jewish people. But even though this blessing was first given to the Israelites, it was also extended to the Gentiles, which are us, people that aren't Jewish, when we are, are adopted in God's family in the New Testament after, God's, after Jesus' death on the cross. We see in Galatians 3, verse 28 and 29, there is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither bond nor free, there is neither male or female, for all are one in Christ Jesus. And if ye be Christ, then ye are Abraham's seed, and heirs according to the promise. But we also see in Hebrews 3, chapter 3, verse 12 through 19, how explaining that this is very important, because the writer of Hebrews is trying to explain to people that Jesus now is more important than Moses because for the Jewish people, Moses was on the top of the list for them as important spiritual people. And now that Jesus died 
for all our sins and died on the cross and he was resurrected for all our sins now he's better than Moses because the Jews the Israelites they were stuck on their laws because God had given them laws as to follow to follow that he wanted as laws that he wanted them to follow but now there's a new way for not exactly a new way but um Jesus wants them to follow something new not the laws because we are saved when we believe in Jesus and when we accept what he did for us on the cross he died and he took our sins and then he was resurrected again three days later so in part verse 21 isn't exactly for us but we can take and make similarities between promises in verse 22 right now this is pretty much a final warning then again it's not for us but it does make sense in a normal non-spiritual way verse 22 is a final warning against wickedness most of the warnings are referring to material things let's not forget this this is mostly again referring to Israelites but as we can see it can be applied to how wicked people will pay in the end for what they have done and will be separated from God this does not have to do with loss of salvation if you are saved you are saved for eternity that nobody can take you away from God but when we go back to last Sunday school we see that the Bible gives us a guide for who our friends are and for us to be able to see who the evil people are and a lot of times we'll be looking at people doing evil things and start to get jealous like why are they getting away why am I struggling with this and that but they're just being all fine and nothing's wrong they won't be this verse and many a few other verses in the Bible say that they will pay for what they have done in the end the wicked people aren't going to get away from what they do and you won't get away from all the wicked things or all the bad things that you do even the ones that people don't see God sees them he knows what you've done he's always with us he's the word omnipresent means always with us always together but when we look at the whole chapter in Solomon pretty much the whole of Proverbs is giving us advice on how to follow God and pretty much the whole Bible does that but Proverbs is kind of like a daily you can read one chapter a day and get some wisdom from it and learn things on how to be better and want to serve God and it's a reminder to us that all the bad things that we do God knows them people might not know them but God knows our heart and what we are doing so I'm closing are you following God or are you doing wicked things that people don't see and that you think you can get away with there's always a price to pay for every decision we make Hey guys, for this next song, we're going to sing I've Got the Joy Down in My Heart. I've 
Have you heard? Sunday School is returning to Fargo Baptist Church. It's back. So join us here on Sundays. Welcome back to Sunday School. 